In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit these super easy baby booties for babies between three and six months old. You can make them for boys and girls and they're so easy to make. Also, you can make them smaller or bigger. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make them smaller or bigger from a newborn baby up to 24 months. So be sure to check that out. Okay, so let's get started. But don't forget to subscribe, share my tutorials, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using these 3.5 millimeter circular kneading needles. I'm using circular needles, but you can also use straight needles. The only thing is that when we make this part here of the baby booty, I'm going to use the magic loop technique to work this part here in the round. If you use straight needles, then you can just seam this part here at the end. Now, to begin, the first thing that we need to do is we need to cast on 42 stitches. I'm going to show you how to cast on your stitches using the long tail cast on. So to begin, I'm going to wrap my yarn around like this 20 times. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 20 now remove this yarn here we have enough yarn for about 20 stitches we're going to double it up again we have enough for 40 and double it up again and we have enough for 60. i'm going to make a slip knot here and I'm going to insert both needles. I forgot to mention that I'm using this number four yarn. You can also use Aran Weight or number four yarn. This yarn is coming from the yarn that we just measured and this here is coming from the skein. So we're going to open the yarn like this and we're going to go from left to right and we're going to grab a loop. So grab a loop. And this is all we're going to do until we have 42 stitches on our needles. Like this. So continue, finish casting on your stitches and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished casting on my stitches. I have 42 stitches here. This is all the yarn that I had left. Now we're going to tie a knot here at the end We're going to remove one of the needles carefully and we're going to start here. Okay, so here to begin, we have 42 stitches. I'm going to knit the first stitch and all of the stitches here for this first row. So just knit each one all the way to the end like this. Okay, so continue, finish this first row, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row, the last stitch, also knit. Now, from here on, this is all you're going to do. You're going to always turn, and you're going to just knit across, including the first stitch. So knit, knit, and knit. So this would be the second row. Then for the third row, you're going to do the same thing, turn and then knit across. We're going to do this until we have a total of 13 rows, which is this part here of the baby booty. So we're right here right now, so we're going to make a total of 13 rows, doing exactly the same thing. We're just going to knit every stitch for every row. So continue, finish this part, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 13 rows. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 rows. This part here is measuring about four centimeters, which is about an inch and a half. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the front of the baby booty. So this part here, we're going to make some reductions. So before we start, make sure to put a stitch marker here on this side. So here, for row 14, we're going to knit 15 stitches. So knit to the first stitch. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen stitches. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip this stitch and I'm going to knit the next. Bring the stitch that you slipped over the stitch that you just knit. Now here I'm going to knit eight stitches. These eight stitches are always going to be the same. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to slip the next stitch, knit the next, bring the stitch that you slipped over the stitch that you just knit. Now we're going to leave these 15 stitches and we're going to turn for row 15. So for row 15, you're going to slip the first stitch and you're going to knit eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now here at the end, we're going to purl two together. So bring your yarn behind and purl two together. Now here on this needle, I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen stitches. Turn for row sixteen. For row 16, we're going to slip this stitch. Make sure you go through the back like this and slip this stitch. And we're going to knit eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now slip this next stitch, knit the next stitch, bring the stitch that you slipped over the stitch that you just knit. Now here I'm going to leave these stitches, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. We're going to turn for row 17. And for row 17, you're going to slip the first stitch and you're going to knit eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, here at the end of this row, we're going to purl two together. So bring your yarn here to the front and purl two together. Now I'm going to leave these stitches, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. I'm going to turn for row 18, we're going to slip this first stitch like this and we're going to knit eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slip the next stitch, knit the next. Bring the stitch that you slipped over the stitch that you just knit. Now here I'm going to leave two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen stitches. We're going to turn for row 19 and we're going to slip the first stitch for this row. Knit eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now purl two together for this 18th row. And we're going to leave two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 12 stitches on this needle. Turn for row 20. Now for this 20th row, slip the first stitch, knit eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now slip this next stitch 
knit the next bring the stitch that you slipped over the stitch that you just knit now for this 20 throw we're going to leave two four six eight ten twelve we're going to turn for row 21 we are going to slip the first stitch and we're going to knit eight one two three four five six seven eight we're going to purl two together and here we're going to leave two four six eight ten eleven stitches turn for row 22 slip the first stitch knit eight one two three four five six seven eight slip this next stitch knit the next bring the stitch over the stitch that you just knit now here i'm going to leave these two four six eight ten eleven stitches we're going to turn for row 23 bring the yarn to the front slip the first stitch knit eight one two three four five six seven eight purl two together and we're going to leave two four six eight ten stitches turn for row 24 bring your yarn to the back slip the first stitch and we're going to knit eight one two three four five six seven eight slip this next stitch knit one bring the stitch over the stitch that you just knit now here i'm going to leave these two four six eight ten stitches turn for row 25 slip the first stitch knit eight one two three four five six seven eight purl two together and now here i have two four six eight nine stitches we're going to turn for row 26 and here we're going to slip the first stitch knit eight one two three four five six seven eight slip this next stitch knit one bring this stitch over the stitch that you just knit now at the end here i have two four six eight nine stitches so i'm not going to make any more reductions so what we're going to do for this 26th row after we did our last decrease here i'm just going to finish here by knitting these last nine stitches like this So here at the end of this 26th row, you should have 28 stitches. We have nine plus 10 plus nine. That's a total of 28 stitches. So now for row 27, what we're going to do is we're going to knit all. Knit the first stitch and knit each one of these stitches to the end. Now here I'm going to show you something so that there is no gap right here between these two stitches. If I knit this and knit this, there's going to be a hole here. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip this stitch like this. I'm going to knit the next stitch. Bring the stitch that you just slipped, put it on this needle, but do not let it go because now you're going to knit this stitch. And that way there is no gap, see? And you still have the 28 stitches. So just finish here and we are done with this 27th row. Now from here on, this is where I'm going to start using the magic loop technique to make this part here of the baby booty. So this part here. And I'm going to, like I said, use the magic loop technique. If you are using straight needles, then all you're going to do is just knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, turn, and then repeat the same thing. You're going to knit the knit stitches and purl the purl stitches on either side. So I'm going to now here divide these stitches so that I can work in the round. So this here is going to be the inside of the booty and this here is going to be the right side. So I'm going to turn it like this because my yarn is on this end. So make sure to turn. Here's a stitch marker. It's on the inside and we're going to divide here 14 stitches on either side. You don't have to be precise, but we don't have that many stitches here, so I'm going to do 14 and 14. So that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, perfect. Now push this here to create this loop here. Our yarn is in front of the needle in the back. So this is what we're going to do. We have both needles lined up we're going to pull the needle from the back and we're going to knit the first stitch. Now we're joined in the round. Now the next stitch I'm going to purl, knit, purl, knit, and purl. This is all I'm going to do until I finish this side. So knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, and purl. Now we're going to drop this needle and turn, push your cable, and pull the needle from the back. Make sure your yarn is in front of the needle here in the back. Grab that needle and start again. Knit, purl, knit, purl knit and purl, knit and purl to the end. Make sure you have even number of stitches. If for some reason you don't, then this part here is not going to come out exactly. So purl, knit, purl, because you want this last stitch here to end in a purl because we're going to start the next row by knitting the next stitch. And this is all I'm going to do for about 21 rows. You can do less or more. I did 21 rows here for this baby booty, so I'm going to do the same thing. Let me double check. I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Yes, 21 and then 22 with the row where we close our stitches. So continue in the same way and if you're using straight needles, it's no problem. You just knit and purl on one side and knit and purl on the other side when you turn. And that's all. Okay, so continue, finish this part, and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to do this last border row. I'll meet you back then. Okay, I finished making this part. I did a total of 21 rows. Now, let me measure this for you. Let's see. It's measuring... It's about 11 and a half centimeters, which is about 4.5 inches. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cast off our stitches. So to do this, I'm going to use a slightly bigger kneading needle. I want to make sure that this part here is, is not too tight around the, the baby's foot. So 
uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it's optional. If you want to continue with the same needles, it's okay. You can do that. So here I'm going to use these four millimeter knitting needles and all I'm going to do is just knit the knit stitches and purl the purl stitches. Now bring this stitch over the first stitch like this. If you're using just regular needles, then you do the same thing. You knit the knit stitches and then bring this stitch over the first one. The next one I have to purl, so I'm going to purl the next stitch. So bring this stitch over the first one. And this is how you cast off your stitches. Now the next one I'm going to knit, bring the stitch over, the next one purl, bring this stitch over, the next one knit, bring this stitch over, the next one purl, and bring this stitch over. That's all I'm going to do to the end. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm almost done here at the end. This is my last stitch. I'm going to purl the last stitch and I'm going to bring this stitch over this last stitch here. Now, this part here is done. You can cut your yarn and just join here to the beginning. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make a row of V stitches, just like I did here. If you're making these booties for boys, you can leave them like this. Just join here to the first stitch, cut your yarn, pass your yarn through that last loop, and you have a baby booty for a baby boy. And you can even do this V stitch row in blue so that you can see, or just leave it like this. So with the help of a crochet hook, this is a three millimeter crochet hook. We're going to go right here to the first stitch and we're going to join with a slip stitch. Now, this is where you would pass your yarn through this last loop, cut your yarn, and this part here is done if you want to leave your baby booties like this. But I'm going to show you here what I did with this one here. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. We're going to make these stitches. So here, chain four, Let's see, one, two, three, four, and into this same stitch here, make a double crochet. Now skip one, two, and into this third stitch here, make another V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Again, skip one, two, and into this third stitch, another V stitch. This is all I'm going to do all around, so continue and I will meet you at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end. I did nine V stitches to finish. Just go here to the side where we have the four chains and join with a slip stitch. Cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done and that's what it looks like. Even if you just do these V stitches, look how adorable the baby booties look. You can do that for little boys as well. Now what we're going to do next is this row of fans. So we're going to turn this on the inside and I'm going to use this pink yarn. This is number three yarn in this pink color. You can use DK Way or whatever yarn you have. We're going to go right here between these two V stitches. This is where we finish, so right in the middle of these two V stitches. Insert your hook, chain one, and right here we have the first V stitch. So go to the side of this double crochet and make a front post double crochet. Right here, front post double crochet. Inside the chain one space, make two double crochets. Chain one, two double crochets. and finish with a front post double crochet. Now we have the next V stitch, same thing, front post double crochet, make a fan inside the chain one space, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and then a front post double crochet. And that's all we're going to do. Continue and I'll meet you at the end. 
Okay, I'm here at the end. I did my last front post double crochet. Now to finish, just go here to the side where we did this chain and just join with a slip stitch. Cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop and this part here is all done. Look how adorable these look. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to go here to the back and we're going to seam this part here. If you made your baby booties using straight needles, what I would do is I would seam this part and then do this part here last. So to do this, I'm going to use this yarn. I cut a piece of yarn here. This is about 25 inches or so. And I'm going to go right here, right in the middle where we joined. So grab a loop here and tie a little knot right there. And we're going to use a needle here. So here, to do this, we're going to go along the very edge of each row. You can see this row here. And on this side, we're going to go into the side right here. We have this little bar, not, not along the very edge, but a little bit after the edge right there. You see the little bar? That's where we're going to go on this side. So on this side, we're going to pick up this stitch along the very edge like this. And then we're going to go here on this side, pick up this little bar. The next row, same thing on this side. Make sure that your rows line up so that this part here looks nice when we're done. Here's the, this is the last row. Here, and just go here along the very top. Perfect. And then you're going to go back into this last stitch and reinforce this last stitch there. And this is what it looks like. It's almost like an invisible join. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to close the bottom. So here what I like to do is just reinforce this, this here again and just tie a little knot like that. That way this doesn't come undone. So now we're going to go into the very edge here. You see right there. That's where I'm going to be inserting my needle to close this part. And along this other side, same thing. Right there, you can see it clearly. So I'm right here, right about the center. I'm going to find the first stitch right here. Insert the needle like this. And insert the needle on this other side. And we're going to crisscross to close this part. Now go under the next stitch, go under the next stitch here. Now the next, and the next, and so on. So continue, finish this part, and then I'll meet you right about here to show you how we're going to close the end here. Okay, I'm almost done closing this part. This is what it looks like. Here's the heel. Now, here at the end, I have, I don't know, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches. So four here and four here. So I'm going to reinforce this last stitch again by just going over it again just tying a little knot here right in the center 
and what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to go on this side into this next stitch let's see so this is the next one and I'm just going to go like this all around you don't have to be precise just go around like this I think I have one more here right there and now just pull this like this and this part here closes and that way this part here is not pointy it's more rounded and then just tie a little knot here somewhere you can even do this on the inside so that this part looks nice and pretty so just find a spot somewhere in here and then just go back through on the inside and hide your ends which is what I'm going to do afterwards so this part here is all done that's what it looks like so the baby booty is all done and they're both done exactly in the same way now this one I already hid all my ends this is what it looks like here in the heel and the bottom part same thing and the end here so baby booties are all done now I'm going to go ahead and do um, another one for little boys I'm going to do it in blue or gray. I'm not sure. You'll see it at the end. Okay, I finished making this second pair. I did them with this gray color. Look how adorable these are. Now, these here are for zero to three months, and I used 3.25 millimeter kneading needles. And another difference here is the cuff. Instead of doing a knit one, purl one here, I did knit two, purl two. So you can also do the same thing. I also did this other pair. These here are for six to nine months, um, and I used four millimeter kneading needles. So you can easily make them bigger or smaller by just changing your needle size. Just look down here in the information box. I'm going to leave some information there on how you can make them smaller or bigger. So be sure to check that out. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.